you see. I am the want keeper. For those of us who have studied want law, it has always been clear that the want chooses the wizard. It is not always clear why. And you are here for a want, yes? Excellent. Now tell me, what is your name? Serena. Serena, if you would please step forward into the light where I may see you more clearly. Now, Serena, you may know that every Ollivander wand has a core of a powerful magical substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and heart strings of rabbits. Now, no two Ollivander wands are the same, just as no two unicorns. Dragons or phoenixes are quite the same, and of course you will never get such good results with a wizard's wand. Now, what I have for you here is a wand made of hazel, 13 inches, flexible and swishy, and it contains the core of a unicorn hair. Now, I want you to water my flowers in that vase. Now, point your wand at it. Give it a wave and say, Aguamenti. Aguamenti? <laughs> oh dear. Well, not exactly what we were expecting. Please allow me. <laughs> My dear, you are doing just fine. We are getting closer. I sense a very powerful magic in you. And I am curious, most curious indeed. Now, what I have for you here is a wand made of ash. 14 and 3 quarter inches, pleasantly springy, and it contains the core of a phoenix tail feather. Now, I want you to levitate just one of those red wand boxes up above. Now, point your wand at one of them. When you are ready, give your wand a swish and a flick and say, when guardian Leviosa. See, the best results must always come when there is the strongest affinity between a wizard and